Canova has their Canova Jayco assistive robotic arm. And on the website, they claim, imagine being able to do almost anything a human arm can do safely and independently. These good people were nice enough to come out and bring me a demo. Let's check it out. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Nice. Oh. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Four? Oh, you already got it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Nailed it. The origin of the adaptive arm is inspiring, almost straight out of a novel. Inspired out of necessity, Charles Deguer, CEO and founder of Canova, was a caretaker for his uncle Jacques. Charles made a makeshift arm for his uncle. Little did he know, he was turning Jacques's memory into a legacy. This lightweight, strong adaptive arm boasts a six axis for the user to orchestrate replicating the shoulder, elbow, and wrist movements with 16 movements this in all. This amazing piece of adaptive equipment fits perfectly with your wheelchair. What does that mean? So for me as a wheelchair user, sometimes less is more. For example, when you're going through a hallway or if you're going underneath a table. The other preset position is called home or ready. That means the arm is ready to help you with whatever you need. This adaptive equipment is not only just a robotic arm, but it's intelligent. With its drink mode, it allows the user to tip the cup without tipping the cup at the user, but up and at an angle, more like a natural motion. Very, very cool. Hey everybody, today we have with us Kevin Wanamaker from Canova Robotics. Hey Kevin, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Good thank to be here. Thank you for being, uh, coming on today. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. I had a couple questions for you for this amazing adaptive equipment. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of Canova Robotics? I can invented by a person named Jacques Forrest and he, minimal parts like garage stuff, barbecue tongs, uh, bike cables, things like that. So he had muscular dystrophy. He was a Canadian inventor and um, advocate. And he started the project uh, when he died in 1999. It was his nephew who formed the company and continued to create what we see today with Jago Robotic Arm. That is awesome, man. Growing up, uh, I've been disabled in a chair my whole life and growing up you always have your friends who are like oh hey man you know wouldn't that be cool you know if we could just like you know put like a harley motor here on your on your engine or like set up some kind of robotic <laughs> arm or something like that you know and they're always yeah. willing to try to engineer something for you so this is really an amazing story that it all came together like that you know it's a family-based company and um yeah they've done a lot of good work moving forward from this in terms of that though I mean, the long-term vision are things that sound like sci-fi right now, like an exoskeleton or um, equipment that would be integrated with AI and just be far more smoother than anything that's cap that we're capable of today. Um, things that would be intuitive. Um, equipment that would connect directly to your brain. Um, those are things that uh, are... Uh, being worked on or um yeah or will will be in the future you know it's just with the prog the progress of technology and that's pretty exciting stuff yeah. um yeah we'll see where it goes that's awesome well thank you kevin i appreciate yeah. it so much i look very 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 much to uh getting my my jaco arm and enjoying my independence snap I, I hope so fingers enjoy. crossed we'll uh we'll fight for it if it if it requires a fight and yeah, I can't wait to just hang out with you again. Wow. Thank you, Kevin. And thank you, Canova Robotics. Welcome back to the studio. Of course, you know what the next question is, right? The cost. Well, first, let's talk cost versus value. You've seen the Jayco and I pick up an item off the floor, flip on and off light switches, grab tissue, take a drink. But you also saw me open the door. Now, imagine that same video, except this time there was a fire and I was alone. So I ask you, what is the value? If you or someone you know could benefit from this adaptive equipment, visit CanovaRobotics.com. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to click 
that magical subscribe and little bell icon so you don't miss any of my exciting videos I got coming up.